This demo will cover using Spectrum Protect for space management with Spectrum Scale, also known as Tivoli Storage Manager for HSM with GPFS. This combination provides a virtual expansion of the GPFS file system by introducing the additional storage tiers that exist in Spectrum Protect. These might be tape, these might be VTL, these might be additional lower cost disk. As you can see here in this picture, your GPFS file system has built in internal migration rules. By adding in the HSM, we can now extend those to include storage tiers underneath the Spectrum Protect server. In a clustered GPFS environment, if you install the HSM client along with the Spectrum Protect Backup Archive client on each of the servers, you will then have a high availability environment. So if one of the nodes fails, the file system management can then fail over to another one of the HSM nodes. In order to achieve this inside of Spectrum Protect Server, you do need to set up proxy nodes and then issue the as node name into your DSM sys file. The integration point for the GPFS and the Spectrum Protect for space management is your DMAPI integration. Now when you do the migration, you can set it up so that you either do a manual migration, you could migrate via a list of files, or most likely you could set up threshold migration through some scripting. So let's go ahead and take a look at a demo of using the manual and the file list migration. Here I have a Linux system that's part of a cluster. You can see the cluster here. And on it I have installed Spectrum Protect Backup Archive Client, and I've also installed Spectrum Protect for space management. After installing the HSM software, I did go to the DSM opt file. In the option file, I included these three options. HSM disable auto mig demons, yes. HSM group migrate, yes. And HSM ext object attribute, yes. I did that for each of the nodes in the cluster. On the TSM server, I set up a proxy and I issued a grant proxy target equals GPFS set. That's the set of proxies. And I did that for each of the nodes. So as you can see, I have the GPFS set target node and in it there are four nodes, RATL, GPFS1, GPFS2, and GPFS3. Each node which was part of the GPFS cluster. I need to update the management class to allow HSM. So I issued the update MGMT class standard, 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 space manage technique equals auto. I then activated the policy set. Now you could have also done this through the operation center. You need to edit the DSM sys file and add the option as node name and then the GPFS set that we just assigned as the proxy node. And remember to update all of the dsm.sys files for all of the nodes that are in that cluster. Okay, now we want to check that the HSM management is active for this file system. You can see for the dsm mig fs query dash dash f command, you can see that these four nodes are all enabled. You'll want to verify the health state of the HSM node. And you can see here that the GPFS status is active, as is the HSM status. Before we add the GPFS file system to, the, to be HSM managed, we want to ensure that the file system is mounted and is enabled for your DMAPI interface. And you can see here that yes, it is enabled. If it was not enabled, you would need to issue the MMCHFS GPFS2-Z yes command. If we check the GPFS cluster and make sure that all clusters are enabled, we can see that yes, the state is active. We'll add the space management to the GPFS2 file system with the DSM MIGFS add command. Next, we'll verify the failover of the space management and make sure it's enabled in the cluster. 
Okay, let's get ready to migrate. First, we want to verify the HSM management is active by issuing the dsmdf command. And notice that GPFS2 is a monitored file system. As a safety precaution, issue the DSM reconcile GPFS command. This will verify that what space manager thinks is migrated and what the Spectrum Protect server thinks is migrated are in sync. This is a command you would also run should your Spectrum Protect server and your GPFS client for any reason get out of sync. Notice we did issue a DSM reconcile GPFS.pl. This is special for the GPFS file systems. If you were simply using a Linux file system, you would not need the GPFS.pl portion of this. Migration is the process of taking the files off of the GPFS file system and moving them to the Spectrum Protect server and the storage that's underneath that Spectrum Protect server. In its original place, we leave a stub file, and this stub file simply points to the new location on the Spectrum Protect server. Migration can be achieved by giving the HSM client a list of files to migrate. Migration can occur by simply kicking off manual migration, or you can do migration based upon the capacity, high and low level, of a file system. Let's go ahead and create a list with a single file in it called test.doc. And now let's kick off migration with the file list option where we migrate the files that are listed in the test.list file. We can verify the migration by issuing a dsmls. And you can see that now the active size of 6 bytes with the resident size of 0 bytes and the resident block size of 0 and with the file status of migrated. So if we wanted to utilize the test.dot file, make a change to it, it would first have to be recalled from the Spectrum Protect server and then the change could be made to that file. So if we pinned a hello to the file, the file is being brought back from the Spectrum Protect server into its original place and then a hello is added to it. If we look at the status of the file again, we can see the size has changed, but now that is resident. So the resident, it is back. And if we look at the file state status, it's also resident. Okay, now let's do a pre-migration. A pre-migration takes the files and makes a copy and sends it to the Spectrum Protect server, but leaves the original file on the GPFS file system. Now, if that space is needed rapidly for some reason, those pre-migrated files can be changed into stub files and the space is rapidly freed up. Let's take a look at those files. So now you can see these two files, someone else's stuff and someone's stuff, are in the pre-migrated status. If you wanted to migrate the entire GPFS2 file system, you would simply do a DSM migrate dash recursive and then the file system name. You can see that migration is completed. If we look at the DSM LS for the GPFS2 file system, you can see that everything is now migrated. So what we've shown you so far is the migration based on a file list. We've shown you how to pre-migrate files, and we've shown you how to manually migrate a file system. If you wanted to set up migration based upon a threshold in your file system, so say once the file system reaches 85% full, you want to migrate it down to 60% full, you can follow the instructions that are outlined in this tech doc, and it is out here on our support, and it outlines how to do policy-driven threshold migration. So in summary, Space management works with GPFS to provide a virtual expansion of the file system to the storage hierarchy that's underneath the Spectrum Protect server. This might be lower cost disk, this might be tape, this might be VTL. The way that you implement GPFS HSM is by installing the HSM client on each of the nodes that are in the cluster and then by either scheduling migration based upon 
the threshold in a file system or by doing a manual or file-based migration. Be sure to check out our other videos on doing GPFS backup to the Spectrum Protect server using MM Backup and on doing disaster recovery using SOBAR. Thank you.